I'm Adam Moz and this is Moz Models. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the one area I didn't really touch on at all in my previous Where Did the Cheese Move? Uh, because the cheese didn't move in this case, although the experience is different. And that is creating a new model. So let's go create a new model. So we're here in my Arrows Viper. We're going to go over to Model Select. I'm going to scroll down and hit the big plus. And note that there are two options here, create model and receive model. Receive model is for Bluetooth file transfer. If somebody can send a model from their uh, radio to you and your radio if you guys are all running on 5. Remember the receiving radio has to be on the same or later firmware for the model to work correctly. But uh, we're going to do create model in this case. And this hasn't changed much. So let's go for an airplane. Now here's the first change. And this is all about stabilized receivers. So you only change this if you are using one of the FreeSky stabilized receivers. Now the list is not comprehensive. Um, it's got all of the current series. Uh, except for the last couple that are that were created. So if you have a, uh, a, a TW SR8, just set it up as an Archer Plus SR8. And if you have an Archer or Archer Pro stabilized receiver, so that's the Archer SR6, the Archer Pro SR8, or the Archer Pro SR10, Pick either the S6R or S8R. They will set up correctly for you. The main thing is, is this sets up your gain and stabilizer channels and the archers work like the older S6R and S8R in terms of which channels are what for gain and stabilization modes. The other ones are largely the same, so if you pick a TDSR6 and you've got a TWSR12, it's going to work. It's just going to tell you the wrong re receiver. So, let us go, and I'm going to pick a TWSR12. It's got a nice picture of it, and let's go through. Now, this is going to look pretty much the same. Engine, no engine through one channel. For this one, Later on, one, two, four, flaps, no flaps, one and two. One thing to call out here, if you are making a delta, pick two channel aileron, and when you go over to tail, you're gonna no elevators, no you want to pick no elevators for a delta. We're not doing a delta. However, if you're doing a delta with a stabilizer, pick one aileron, one elevator, and set up the delta in the stabilizer. That's for the free sky stabilizers. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, we do need need at some point to get a delta wing type, but if you're using a stabilized receiver, you don't want that anyways. And here is the big change. Note here, you have each of the channels that it's going to map out. There's two pages here. So and this is all set to defaults based on your default channel layout. So you notice my aileron 1 is channel 1, my elevators are 2, my throttle is 3, my rudders are 4, and aileron 2 is channel 5. That, and you don't want to muck, about, muck with these assignments when you're using a stabilized receiver. If you're not using, and in fact it won't let you, because these are fixed. And then your gain adjustment is on 13. 14 is your flight mode 1, 15 is your flight mode 2. If you're using quick mode like me, don't worry about channel 15, you're just going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back, and we're just going to pick no receiver here. I'm going to go back and show you the difference. No, now we get a tail type, none. If you're just setting delta, pick none. And going over here, the reason for that, and now you can edit all the channels, but notice the second page went away, because these are the five channels that we laid out. 
but you can change them if you want. For example, if you're dropping this into something that was Spectrum, you want your ailerons to on channel 6. This Spectrum puts the second aileron channel on channel 6. Makes wiring it easier. And you can flip this around. Let's make this TAER. So elevators go to channel 3 and channel 1. So we have the Spectrum standard layout at this point and we've remapped it all as we would need to before we even create the model. And we can of course change this back. So let's go back to FreeSky standard. And there you have it. Simple as that. Now if we, I'll just go back and sh show you if you forgot the flaps. Let's put two channels of flaps in there. And you'll notice now there's a second dot there. We've got the second one there, and there's our chaps flaps on channel six and channel seven. But we're going to go all the way back, and we are going to pick that receiver again because there's one last thing I want to show you. Go through here. Notice the tail type goes away because V tail mixing has to be done in the receiver with an, with an SR. Hmm. Interesting. I have a, I'm missing some, some assets because this should populate all of my functions. Hmm. It didn't. Sorry. Let's start that all over again because setting that on and off mess things up a little bit. Okay. Put that TWSR12 again. And there we go. So, what you're doing here is you're assigning the input source for gain adjuster, so that's your gain channel, and I like T5, so we're going to put this on, and actually it won't, so we're not actually going to assign, because it'll only let me assign switches and analogs, and I like to use T5, but flight mode 1, you know, switches, and I always put this on SB, and I'm not going to assign flight mode 2, so flight mode 1 is your channel is your first flight mode channel or stab mode channel. Flight mode 2 is your second uh, stab or flight mode channel. So flight mode 1 is going to be on an old receiver it'll be channel 10. On a new receiver it's going to be channel 14. Flight mode 2 is going to be channel 11 on an old receiver and it's going to be channel 15 on a new receiver. Gain adjustment is going to be uh, channel 9 on the old receivers, channel 13 on the new ones. Actually, we'll just make this a pot. So I'll just put that as pot 1 so you guys can see. So this is how I set it up, because I fly quick mode. And now we've gone and set it up. And you can go in here and look at all of those fancy dancy mixes are all set up. Note, it still doesn't ask you for an input for flaps. But there's, there's a couple things, because I use quick mode. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to delete that flight mode too. And gain adjuster. Now the problem with gain adjust is your midpoint is zero and your endpoints are 100% gain in both directions. I don't like that. There are two ways to fix this easily. The first one, we're going to add a new action. That action is going to be offset. And we are going to set it to 50%. And note there's offset when line active and offset when line is inactive. Uh, the reason for that is offset is one of those weird things that can really screw up your mixing if your offset is only active when that mixer line is enabled. 
So you can actually set it to be enabled when the rest of the mixer line is doing nothing. So I'll just set it to match. And we're going to go always on weight. We're going to edit this, and this has got to get dropped down to 50%. So you can see here, now, your, your bottom point is zero, and your top point is 100. That's one way to do it. That's not the way I like to do it. What I like to do is edit. This is going to become a, sorry, not an offset curve. Add a curve. We're going to call this gain. Type is going to be custom. It's going to be two points. And we'll set take the second point and we'll set it to 100. You notice that that curve looks exactly like the one we had before with the offset. And then we're just going to go change our weight. Set it to hit default to set it back to 100 and we've got the same thing. The reason I like to use the curve is because this isn't the only time I want that curve. Often enough when I'm setting the models, I have two or three things that I want to, to go from 0 to 100 instead of from minus 100 to 100 and I can just keep calling the same curve over and over and over again when I set those up. So this is the way I prefer to do it. Some people prefer to do the 50% weight, 50% offset. Both of them work. And the other one I need to do, edit, sorry, SB. I need to long press my SB and set it to negative because I want up to be off and down to be self-level. That's why I always use a VAR for this when I'm doing programming these from scratch, but this works too. Uh, and that's model setup. It is relatively easy. Uh, it's gotten a lot more powerful, as you can see. Uh, we've now got channel assignment in the model setup if you want to. If you don't want to, you just want the defaults, just accept the defaults. And there is much, much better support for the stabilized receivers, including pre-provisioning of the uh, needed mixes. There you have it.